Hello everyone, welcome back to Spectrum Classes. In this video, I am going to discuss about the Thorium Radioactive Decay Series and we are going to see how many number of steps are there and how it disintegrates. So, let's start with the video. So, before showing you the number of steps and the daughter elements which are formed during this radioactive decay series, I am just going to tell you few highlights so that you can easily memorize this radioactive decay series. So, I, here I have shown you the 6th and 7th period of the periodic table. And in this periodic table, we are having this lanthanide and this actinide series. And that lanthanide and actinide series are placed outside this periodic table. And in this periodic table, we are having this in the sixth period, we are having this P block element. So these P block elements are important as I, I have highlighted over here. So this many number of elements need to be memorized. The rest are not required for these four radioactive decay series, right? So here, one more thing which I bring to your notice, this polonium onwards we are having radioactive elements so you might consider this polonium astatine radon then francium and this whole period so are you thinking this is also radioactive no this is not radioactive this is radioactive because this is in the sixth period this is lanthanide series so that you can easily recognize the same thing fine we will start with the disintegration of radioactive series. So I am just going to show you the major steps in this radioactive decay series. I am not going to show you the branching. Why? So here is the thorium and this thorium if we remove an alpha particle then what is going to be happen here you can see. So this atomic number this G 90 minus 2. 2 is what this. So then we get 88 fine and similarly from this mass number we are just going to remove this 4 so mass number minus 4 if alpha particle is removed so here what we get we get radium 228 fine and from this radium we are going to remove one alpha beta particle so if we are going to remove one beta particle it means 88 minus minus 1 and this gives us 89 but in case of mass number nothing has to be removed so the next element which we get will be 89 this is symbol and this is 228 nothing is changed fine so this will be our next element here you can see this is actinium 228 now moving further we are just going to remove one beta particle again and in the same manner we again went to the thorium so here 90 thorium one more thing here 228 thorium and here you are having 232 thoriums right so this is because this is the main element and this is the isotope of thorium now on removing the alpha particle from this we get this radium again so 90 minus alpha means 2 this is 88 and in in the mass number we are having 224 now moving further on removing the alpha particle we get radon and uh, from this removing alpha particle we get polonium and on further removing alpha particle we get lead and further we remove beta particle we get bismuth and from the Further removal of beta particle it gives polonium and from polonium alpha particle is removed we get the end product which is the lead 208 so this is the main element of the periodic table again this is the main element of the periodic table now we are going to count how many alpha particles and beta particles are removed before counting the alpha and beta particle i am just going to tell you how we can calculate without counting these so the num here i am just going to show you the mass number a of the initial or the thorium minus the end product which is lead so here i have removed 232 minus 208 so it is less by 24 and since on removal of one alpha particle we get four numbers less daughter product and on removal of beta particle nothing is changed 
so this mass number is just affected by the alpha particles so here we are going to see further the atomic number z starting element thorium atomic number minus the end product so here we get 8 this 24 mass number is just divided by 4 so that we can get the number of alpha particles similarly on removal of these alpha particles 6 alpha particles and if we multiply it by 2 then we get the number which should be lesser in the daughter product in its atomic number right but we are having 8 only it means it is not only removing the alpha particles but it also removes the beta particles so here we are just going to calculate the beta particles so this is the atomic number which is decreased on subtracting 6 into 2 we get 12 minus 8 and on subtraction we get 4 so this many beta particles are removed now you can check 6 alpha particles this is 1 alpha particle this is 2 3 4 5 and 6 now similarly you can check 4 beta particles so here we are having 4 beta particles 1 2 3 and 4 so 6 alpha particle 4 beta particle all together we get 10 number of steps in this series and I already told you that we are just considering only the major steps we are not going to, towards the branching that branching part you can check on Wikipedia right but it seems to be difficult to memorize this so here I am just going to give you a trick so that you can easily memorize it so here is the trick so here I have just shown this first you see alpha particle then two beta particles then four alpha particles then two beta particles and alpha particle but it is difficult for you to memorize so I just break it into two halves and if suppose this is the mirror and here you are having alpha beta beta alpha alpha and just revert the order alpha alpha beta beta and then alpha so this is in my opinion this is the easiest way to memorize it and i am also going to show you here how we can also memorize this so from uh, thorium to radium radium to actinium actinium to thorium thorium to radium again and we are going to two steps back which i cannot show here one step and two step i can show you here in this manner so radium to radon radon to polonium polonium to lead lead to bismuth bismuth to polonium again polonium to lead so this is the simplest route in which this radioactive disintegration series is disintegrates i have also shown this scheme here so that you can make your notes this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. And here is the whole series which I have written over here. I hope you find this video helpful. If you find this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you all. Thanks for watching.